Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition going right back up to the great white north. Uh, big bust in L.A. last week. Uh, federal grand jury indicted a Montreal mafia figure known as Roberto Scapa, Bobby Scapa, uh, from the infamous Scapa brothers. Uh, as the number one defendant in Operation Dead Hand that dropped out of a federal court in Los Angeles. Uh Last week in the court filings, uh, we see some connections between uh, Scapa and our uh, one of our uh, favorite uh, people to cover here at the OG Pod, uh, one of the most consequential crime lords uh, in the 21st century, a guy that uh, whose profile and ambition seem to get bigger every minute, Marty Robert the top Hells Angels shot caller in Quebec, uh, Montreal chapter boss. It looks like, according to those court filings, Marty Robert and Bobby Scapa traveled to Colombia together uh, down in South America, Uh, stayed at a resort in Cartagena, uh, uh, kind of a beach town, resort town, in Colombia, in the first two weeks of January 2019, um, Scapa has addressed this uh, in the media a couple of years ago. Said that it was uh, happened, you know, just kind of happenstance and wasn't coordinated. They uh, both happened to be at this resort with their families uh, and bumped into each other, and it was nothing more than a coincidence. What I'm hearing, I know what authorities are hearing in in Canada and what's being implied in the court filings is that they were there, you know, scouting, securing, cultivating uh, narcotics, wholesale narcotics connections. Um, And it's interesting when you start to, you know, kind of peel the layers back uh, and you look for the, you know, the story within a story or game within a game, and you start looking at the timelines here. We all know that at this moment in 2024, Marty Robert is uh, on the warpath and uh, staging an attempted hostile takeover of the Rizzuto mob, uh, the Sicilian mafia in Canada. Uh, His former allies, uh, the Hells Angels and the Rizzutos, worked together for 30-plus years in tandem. And at some point in the last couple years, Uh, If not going further back to possibly 2019, uh, the relationship started to fray. And by uh, late 2022, early 2023, uh, it it broke open into violence. And now uh, we have both camps kind of in bunker mode. There have been a number of murders, attempted murders, and the Scapa's just like Marty Robert, not necessarily at the time, but you know the the Scapas were a part of the Rizzuto organization, and then as that organization began to crater from within, when Vito Rizzuto got uh, extradited to the United States to serve his prison term, uh, and then eventually came home, uh, passed away in 2013, 2014. It looks like the Scapas who represent the, the Calabrian. Uh, wing of, of that group or did. Uh, it looks like Andrew Scapa took somewhat of a leadership role, acting street boss type role in 2014. And then uh, according to sources and, and government documents was, was pushed out uh, shortly thereafter uh, and then declared war on the Rizzutos, his former organization, his, his, his former lieutenants and whatnot. And uh, they had a hit list and they killed uh, Vito Rizzuto's uh, two successors, uh, Sol- Sol- uh, Solicito and Skunk Giordano, which led to uh, the current boss, Leonardo Rizzuto, Vito's son, taking power. And he's at the you know other side of this thing uh, against Marty. And it doesn't, it, I should say, it makes sense. Uh, if Marty knew back then that things had started to fracture, and it looks like from reporting that th- that's when, when when the chinks in the armor and that alliance that had been there for three decades really started to show, uh, that you know your your enemy's enemy is your friend. So it it 
it's interesting to see again when you put it in a timeline marty with this with one of the scapa brothers and this was before uh andrew and salvatore are murdered in subsequent months after that trip to columbia but uh that marty is in columbia with a member of the scapa crew it looks like he was foreseen uh, this possible fallout with with the uh rizzuto clan but still needed uh that european italian mafia connection for the hell's angels drug activities so just something to keep an eye on for uh everybody knows marty robert is public enemy number one in canada doesn't seem to bother him he's cool as a cucumber uh leonardo rizzuto on the other hand we're told is uh you know he, he he's laying real low uh and has been in you know kind of semi hiding for the last five or six months but uh, Bobby Scapa, who right now is the lead defendant in Operation Dead Hand, and Marty Robert took a trip to Cartagena, Colombia in January of 2019 to allegedly secure a drug connection. I'll, I'll bring you everything that's going down in Canada and the Marty Robert Mafia Hells Angels War. We're always on top of it here at uh, OG Pod, as well as uh, Gangster Report, our companion uh, web magazine. Please always like, subscribe, share uh, OG Pod uh, on all your socials. Spread the word. We'll be back with another long form edition soon, and we'll always have these quick hitters rolling out. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out. Mm-hmm.